Okay, just wanted to give an update. Taken a few days and I've uh, done some different samples of things to prepare for the final assembly. One thing I did is I took a piece of this uh, fiberglass reinforced plastic, put three uh, three different three cells on it with different kind of adhesives. Uh, wasn't sure which ones would work better than others, so I thought I'd better try it before I commit to the final design. So just to refresh, this is uh, the backing material is three and three sec three thirty seconds. Uh, polyester fiberglass reinforced plastic that you can get at most home centers. Uh, it's a uh, UV stabilized so it should work okay outside uh, under glass. <clears throat> I have one cell up here that I put uh, spray down some 3M spray 77 which is a, a spray adhesive. You spray a little bit on the FRP and a little bit on the back of the cell and lay it in place to see how it would stick. Turns out it sticks extremely well uh, but it's a really a one-shot thing. You Once you put it down you can't move it. So that's a little bit uh, you know you make a mistake and you're kinda stuck and all the work up to that point you may have to uh, start over so it that even though it's got good adhesive properties between the cell and the FRP it doesn't look like it's probably a good choice for the actual assembly. Then I tried uh, using just some of that DAP Silicon Plus which is what I'm also using to hold the glass to the aluminum uh, that actually works pretty well and uh, I just put a little dab in the center on, on the FRP itself and then just press the cell in place and uh, smooth it around a little bit and it uh, it holds the cell down very well it gives you gives you time to position it and uh, press it in place so I'm pretty impressed with that, uh, as long as you don't use too much of it. A lumber of my cells are a little bit curved. They don't, when you heat them up sometimes, put in the tabbing, they get a little bow in them. And I'm a little worried that, you know, if I was to press the whole thing down with silicone, that it would actually break the cell in the process. And that's, uh, that would be discouraging, especially if it's part of a long string. The last stuff I tried was similar to the 3M stuff, but it's what it's called this photo mount, where you basically only put it on one side. So I sprayed a little bit onto the cell, and then pressed that down on to the FRP, and it did better than the 3M, meaning it it had a little bit of time where I could actually position it around, and then given maybe a, a five minutes, it was pretty much stuck where I had placed it. So that, that's another possibility if you really are worried about putting silicone down on between your cell and some subsurface. So anyway, that's what I did with the cells and I did leave this out in the sun for a few days and uh, it didn't seem to make any difference. <clears throat> the next thing I also tested was I wanted to see how my glass and the silicone would adhere the idea was I wanted to uh, put a channel of uh, or have some silicone on the underside of this channel top and then uh, do that on three pieces of aluminum and then uh, flip it over and then lay a piece of glass in and press it down. So the idea was that I'd have my channel and I put the silicone on the on the front facing side, the side that would be to the weather, and wanted to get the adhesive just between the glass and the aluminum and not have big globs of it down inside the channel itself. So I did that and I wanted to just see how long it took to set up and and how uh, how well it would be seated and I'm really impressed at how how strong that is. I mean I could I don't know if I could actually pry that off or cut it off even with a, with a, a razor blade or something. Then I, uh, so then I took and looked at my design a little further as I discussed um, using this three quarter inch uh, channel stock, aluminum channel stock for the outside framing and then uh, using this 3 8 inch channel stock as the inside framing 
and my what I finally decided to do was to um, build it this way where I would take the <clears throat> the 3 8 inch stock and once I had that all framed up in a in a frame I would use these uh, triangle braces on on one side of it to hold the uh, entire uh, frame together so that would be nice and square and uh, I'd hold that with those gussets uh, on the back I hold those in with uh, just regular uh, one quarter inch uh, self tapping screws and um, get that frame nice and square build it in a square kind of fixture like putting uh, on your workbench putting something in the corners to make sure make a good good square corner to build each of these corners up and then on top of that <clears throat> is where I would build I would lay the uh, the FRP so then the FRP then once I got my frame built I could uh, lay down this FRP that was just slightly undersized to the size of that framing by maybe a, a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch all the way around and then I would use a piece of some silicone right along this surface to hold the uh, back side of the backing material against the channel stock and then <clears throat> clamp that all down and let that set up over a few days to get that complete and then on top of that I would lay my glass because the glass is exactly the size of my uh, fiberglass reinforced plastic and uh, it would really allow the gap between the plastic the cells and the glass to be absolutely as minimal as possible and it would make the uh, surface per perfectly flat and then once I had that fully assembled I would have uh, I would lay a, you know some uh, some silicone down between the glass and the FRP and this uh, this aluminum channel and get that all uh, cured and then I would slide that inside my outer framing piece you can see that gap that exists there it turns out that I did it on a little sample piece and uh, I still had there was still room between the glass and the back side of this uh, top uh, channel uh, surface so then <clears throat> what my thought was is in the corners of the frame itself when I get all done <clears throat> I could put some uh, bigger gussets in that gap so I'd have ultimately have gusset Here, let's do it this way so in the corner of the uh, so this would be the back corner I would have the channel piece a gusset then the 3 8 inch uh, channel and then in that gap right there is where there would be uh, one piece of glass, the cells, and the FRP kind of sandwiched together in in a, an area that's that gets quite tight and quite compressed. So that looked like uh, a workable solution. So that's what I'm going to do. Then on the last piece of it is a, a box for the back. I have a bunch of these little plastic project boxes. So I'm just going to, as the leads come out the back of the panel, I'll just uh, I'll glue this surface against the back of the FRP with a hole built, drilled in it that goes to the uh, leads coming out of the panel itself. And then inside this box is where I'll have, make my connections to my wiring. All right. I'll have another video when I get it all together.